Hi guys, Sak Studio here, and for today, we are going to share some Lumion rendering effects, specifically for interior scenes or settings. For this tutorial, we will mainly focus on the Lumion rendering effects. If you are interested in also learning on how we do the Lumion model, basically the material texture settings, lightings, entourage, and generally that sort of things, just comment down below. For the Lumion model that we will be using for this video, it will be posted in our Gumroad website, which is called DHL2. You can download the Lumion model for free, or you can also donate any amount of money. Please, thank you. Thank you so much. The version of DHL2 is Lumion 10, so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So here is the interior Lumion model of DHL2. It has a basic modern interior design with a monotone color scheme. When capturing interior scenes in Lumion, we usually put a lot of space in the back. As you can see with this model, there's a lot of space in front of the living area. This is so that we could maximize the focal point and capture the whole space of the intended room. Let's click the camera icon and there should be a captured image already in set. Focal length should be 28.1 millimeters. Now for the rendering effects, let's add the reflection effects first. Reflection threshold should be maximum. Speed ray reflection should be on. Preview quality would be low for now since putting it in high might cause some lag. Let's edit the reflection plane by pressing this pencil tab. Click the plus sign on the bottom left of the screen so that we could select the surfaces that are highly glossy or reflective. After the reflection, let's add the global illumination effects. Sun max effect distance should be 10 meters. Reduce spot will be 0.2. Fall of speed is 0. Sun amount would be 0.2. Okay, this is good enough. After the global illumination, let's add the shadow effects. Sun shadow range should be 156 millimeters. Coloring is good at 0.3. Brightness should be 0.1. Interior exterior would be 0.5. Shadow correction should be maximum or 1. And omni shadow. 0.7 also the soft shadows and fine detail shadow should be on okay this is good after the shadow let's add the hyper light effects enable preview should be on amount would be good at 74% after the hyper light let's add the print poster enhancer effects make sure that enabled is on after the print poster enhance let's add the skylight effects skylight in planar reflections and skylight in projected reflections should be on also set the render quality into ultra saturation would be good at 1 1.4 and brightness would be 1.2 after the skylight let's add the sharpen effects intensity should be 0.3 after the sharpen let's add the color correction effects tint should be 0.1 temperature would be okay at 0 brightness would be 0.6 saturation should be 0.9 okay this is good after the color corrections let's add the noise effects intensity should be 0.1 after the noise let's add the bloom effects amount should be 0.3 after the bloom Bloom, let's add the chromatic aberrations effects. Dispersion should be 0.1. After the chromatic aberrations, let's add the lens flare effects. The default setting for the lens flare would already be good for our scene, so we don't have to change anything for this one. After the lens flare, let's add the exposure effects. Exposure would be good at 0.5. After the exposure, let's add the autumn colors effects. Default setting for the autumn colors should be already good. After the autumn colors, let's add the sky and clouds effects. Position should be 0.8 cloud speed would be 1.1 master cloud amount should be good at 0.5 low cloud would be 0 high clouds would also be 0 as well as the cloud brightness cloud softness and low cloud softness removal sky brightness should be maximum or 1 cloud high preset should also be 1 or maximum overall brightness would be 10 or maximum after the sky and clouds let's add the sun effects sun brightness would be 1.9 sun height would be good at 36.2 degrees sun head would be 122.7 degrees okay this is good enough after the sun let's add the volumetric sunlight effects brightness should be zero and range should be 0.1 after the volumetric sunlight let's add the analog color lab effects amount should be 0.2 style should be good at 1.6 and that is pretty much it for the lumion rendering effects let's now render this image we usually use the print size or 3840 by 2160 so that the image would be able to handle the post-production process well. For the post-production process of this visualization, we will be making a separated tutorial video for that. We hope that you learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.